And I, I wrote my book when I was going through um, the trauma of having lost my son. And, and that can help so much, even if, even if you don't write, and we talked about this, even if you don't write a book, just kind of mm. getting what's going <laughs> on in your head, all this trauma, getting this pain mm. out and getting it onto the paper can really help. Yeah, and I'm only laughing, excuse me, like, just because I was thinking, like, yeah, I'm not trying to tell people, go write a book. It's the healthiest thing you can do. I was laughing just for that. And it, it's be, what I would suggest for anybody is when you get to the point, um, write out the painful parts of your story. It doesn't have to start there. It could start the before, like with me. You know, you could start to tell a story. You could even replace the names of the characters and be fictional about it. You could play around with it, make it your own. Uh, and then you could just simply read it to yourself in the mirror. I would suggest reading out loud at some capacity to yourself, to a friend, because we all know words hit differently when said out loud versus said in our head. Absolutely. Absolutely. And I love how you say just even, even if they don't feel comfortable at this point, reading their words out loud to another person. I like the way you just suggested, like, just read it to themselves. I mean, I, I have friends that are therapists, psychotherapists, but what is therapy in some capacities? It's that it's sharing your story with the therapist. It, you know, every, every therapy is different, but that's part of it. But you could almost in to a point, you know, you might just see a therapist once a month, depending on your budget, once every week, but you could have your own therapy session every single day.